In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways for managing your to-do list with Quicksilver. Now, the first method is using flat text files. This is probably the easiest and most straightforward method there is. What we're going to do is bring up Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Bring up the preferences and go to the plugins. We're going to make sure we have the text manipulation actions plugin. This is going to allow us to work with flat text files like we need. So now we need to just create a standard text file. So we're going to save one called to do on our desktop. And it's important to make sure it's a .txt file because if it's a .rtf file, the plugin we're using doesn't play nicely with this. So we're going to save that and close it for now. Now we're going to bring up Quicksilver. We're going to hit period to enter any text that we want. We're going to type in our to do item, hit tab. We're going to start typing a pen to, and it's going to bring the pen to action. Hit tab again. We're going to give it our file, which is on the desktop. We're going to hit forward slash. It's a neat little trick to, to go to the the items of the folder that you're looking in. And we're going to append it to todo.txt. So now we go and we look and you can see there's our item right there. Add one more item. Append to. Go, we check. And there's another item. Obviously, this is the easiest method. Um, you just delete items when you're done. And that's pretty straightforward. Now, that's great, but what if you want to add to your to-do list when you're not at your computer? Well, that's where a service called Remember the Milk comes in. Remember the Milk is a service that lets you access, edit, add to your to-do list from anywhere in the world. Here's my current to-do list. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> so, Remember the Milk uh, is built off Ajax, so it has a quick adding of to-do items, keyboard shortcuts. You can add notes, URLs, due dates, repeat. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. Really, it's more than anybody should ever need for a to-do list manager. Now this is great and all, but it's not very quick when you are at your computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Quicksilver to add items to our Remember the Milk to-do list. And to do this, we're going to bring up our Quicksilver preferences. We're going to go to Remember the Milk plugin. I'll have a link for the plugin in the post. Now to do this, we're going to have to give Quicksilver access on the Remember the Milk API. So to do this, we're going to click Start. It's going to bring up our Remember the Milk page. And it's going to ask us, do you want to allow Quicksilver? Say, OK, I'll allow it. And close that. And we go back here and we hit Finish. Successfully set up and authorized. OK, so we're ready to go. Now. We'll bring up Quicksilver again, hit period, Add, write your item, hit tab, and we're going to start typing create in, or create task in. It's going to bring up the remember the milk uh, action with the big cow on the front. Now it's going to list your different uh, to-do lists. So we're going to want to add this one to Mac Tips. Whenever it does it, it's going to bring up this icon. Let me do it again so you can see that again. It's going to bring up this icon saying you created a new action. So now we're going to go back to our list. And 
Here are the two items that we just added. We can clear those with complete or the C. And really that's all there is functionality wise in this plugin. Currently there's no way to edit or modify or even complete tasks. So there's a lot of room there for growth. But as far as just adding items, This is probably the qu quickest way I've seen. There you go. Now another nice feature of Remember the Milk is it integrates pretty nicely with iCal. Unfortunately, it doesn't integrate with iCal's to-do list. I'm not exactly sure why, but if you create due dates, I'll say tomorrow, smart enough to pick up on that. Three days. And Go here, we can go iCalendar events, bring up iCal, hit subscribe. Okay. You can see that the tasks that we added due dates for are all added here. So that's all there is for this video. I hope you like it. We're always looking for new ideas for videos. So if you have an idea, please submit it at the post. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.